Good morning and welcome to Optic and Novarama and welcome new friends to our mission blogs. Um, this morning's uh, word of encouragement comes out of uh, Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4 from verse 35 onwards. Um, it is the, a beautiful passage where Jesus calms the storm. But let me first start with the name of Jesus. Jesus derived from Joshua. Joshua or then the Hebrew name Jeshua. Jeshua and those names exactly means what Jesus' name means here. Captain Jesus, where Jesus calms the storm. Captain Jesus, Savior, Rescuer or then Deliverer. That's what Joshua, Jeshua or then Jesus' name means. But before we carry on, let me give you a read uh, from then from chapter 4, Mark, verses 35. And note, this is interesting. Not Matthew or Luke mentions that there were other boats on the lake. There were other boats on the lake. Uh, hear me out. On the evening of that same day, Jesus said to the disciples, Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they left the crowd. The disciples got into the boat in which Jesus was already sitting and they took him with them. Yeah, out other boats were there too. I repeat, other boats were there too. So in other words, their boat weren't the only boat on the sea. There were other boats too. Suddenly a strong wind blew up and the waves began to spill over into the boat so that it was about to fill with water. Jesus was in the back of the boat, sleeping with his head on the pillow. The disciples woke him up and said, Teacher, don't you care that we are about to die? Jesus stood up and commanded the wind, Be quiet. And he said to the waves, Be still. The wind died down and there was a great calm. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Why are you so frightened? Have you still got no faith? Why are you so afraid? Have you still got no faith? And you know, there's, there's just so many lessons out of this beautiful small uh, passage in short passage in, in Mark. But let me point out the three divine lifeguards. For me, the three spiritual lessons here, the three divine lifeguards. You know, uh, sometimes when we face problems in our lives. Sometimes when we face the storms of life, the storms of life's life and big problems in our lives, we are so anxious and we're so fogged up, our vision is so blurred that we sometimes forget to look at the most obvious, the most obvious. So yeah, I can believe that the disciples were so afraid. They were so afraid and overwhelmed by the storm and the wind that they didn't see the other boats around them. So the first lesson here is the obvious. The first natural obvious thing of wisdom is action in faith. Action in faith is our natural first step, is to look at the other lifeboats around us, the lifeguard boats around us. Father sometimes sends us friends or situations or things that will help us to overcome our problems, our challenges that we face and fear. And remember, the opposite of, of fear is faith and love. So uh, the next thing is we must trust Jesus, the captain in our boat. Trust, trust. We must not be afraid. My friend, I want to say to you today, whatever challenge or problem that you face at the moment, don't be afraid. Captain Jesus is in the midst of the storm. In fact, Captain Jesus is in your boat. So don't be afraid. First of all, just calm down. Be rational. Look out for the angel boats around you. The divine lifeguard boats around you. Your friends or situation or things that will help you out of the storms of life. And secondly, know that Jesus is in the boat. Jesus will calm the storm. Jesus is in control of the storm. Captain Jesus is the author of your life. There is no reason to be, a fe be fearful. 
Trust, trust in the Captain Jesus. And then the third lesson the year for me is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit that is within us and with us. If all fails, if all fails, we know there's people out there in lifeboats to help us. We know that Jesus is in control, overall control. He's the master of the universe, Captain Jesus. is in control and in charge of your life and the storm. But for that moment then, don't forget the next supernatural lifeguard. The next supernatural lifeguard is the Holy Spirit. If it comes down to it, then throw out your life rescue boy into the water amidst a storm and trust me, the Holy Spirit will be there to save you. The Holy Spirit will be there to guide you, to give you strength and to give you wisdom. After all, one person, divine person, the Holy Spirit, but he's got two major fu functions, the pneuma, the breath of God, the wind, the force power, the holy force within us, with us, the voice within us, but he's also the parakletos, the Greek winning word there meaning your buddy, your companion. The Holy Spirit should become your friend, your 24-7 friend. Your first go-to person should be the Holy Spirit and your first action should be that of faith and prayer and then trust Jesus in the situation. It's so easy to get overwhelmed by the storms of life. Don't. Keep your rationale, look out for the lifeguard boats around you and then know that Jesus is in charge of your life storm, your challenge and know that the Holy Spirit, your strength, your wisdom, your guide, comforter is there to get you out of that challenge, problem or that situation. So remember, the Holy Force be with you. May the Holy Force be with you, the dear Holy Spirit. And then also may you listen to the Holy Voice within you. And then also may you make good choices outside of you. May you make good choices outside of you. And then last, if you're not born again, if you do not know Captain Jesus, this is the time to receive him as Joshua Jeshua. Jesus Christ, our Savior and Deliverer. My prayer is, if you do not know Jesus, Father God, that whoever this person is that, that's not born again, whoever this person is that hasn't made a commitment to you yet, Father God, my prayer is that he will close his eyes at this time and receive you, Jesus, as his only rescuer, redeemer and Savior. Just commit to Jesus Submit to Jesus, surrender to the Holy Spirit and say, Jesus, come into my life right now. Amen. This is true. Then you are in the safety of the Holy Spirit, in safety of Captain Jesus. And there will be angel lifeboats out there in your life to help you to conquer the storms of life. Thank you for listening. Keep well and stay blessed and highly favoured by God. Until we see you again, Shalom, goodbye.